Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today it's one of the best of all time already, I think I can say that, a classic in the making, uh, Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. I come to you from a secure bunker on the United States western coast. Uh, protected only by a thin woman and an eight-pound Yorkie as a Praetorian guard, yet I feel secure. Uh, that eight-pound Yorkie may potentially be a nine-pound Yorkie after her birthday party the other night. Uh, things got silly. Uh, on the meat pie that dad made and <laughs> there may have been a pound or two added uh, we'll we'll <laughs> we'll have to weigh her in at some point uh, I'll say that thin woman also the second thing she ever told me after telling me make sure we're on the same page is that she has a black belt in taekwondo uh, so you know take that as you will that was uh, quite an introduction to a first date uh, <laughs> Anyway, lucky guy is here. Hey, lucky guy. What's going on? How are you guys doing today? Uh, we are in the center today. Army group center in turn 12. Now we're so close. We can also almost smell uh, Joe Stalin's cologne. Uh, we're, we're just outside the gates of Moscow. Uh, I don't know. Do, do communists wear cologne? Sometimes I've wondered. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We're almost there. Now, I was looking at the board before, and I see opportunities, opportunities here. We've got a three. We've got something indicating a five. I'm sure that's stronger. we got two counters there. We've got one of those little, uh, you know, amphibious uh, marine-like forces here. We've got uh, this, uh, I guess that's anti-tank. Uh, sitting here with a one, so we got like one, one, three, eh, probably like a ten, if I had to guess. Two, one. Now there's a seventeen. That's a little tougher. You know they're gonna beef up, and you can see we got beefy forces here. They ran back around us here as we rocked to the right. Now it's time to rock back left, but that may be the last bit of baby rocking we do uh, as we head to home base. Um, We'll see. Now, also, we still have... Hey, Ulster Andy, how are you? Michael F., hello. Welcome in, gents. Welcome in. Uh, we got big business to do today. We're pushing on Moscow. Um, we still have these new... Didn't we get two new Panzer divisions? <laughs> I say that like, ah, I don't know. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. Seems like kind of a big deal. Um, let's go find those. Yes, yes, we did in turn 12. The 5th Panzer Division and the 2nd Panzer Division, along with the 40th Motorized Corps. And they are way back here. We've got those German people uh, working. We've got to, pushing out some Volkswagens. And then they've also pushing out Panzer Divisions. Uh, well done, German people. Uh, the Volk, or Volk, if you will. Um, okay, I uh, wish I could put up a poll. Well, I guess I can. Uh, I'm showing my own limitations. I wish we could put up a poll here to say, do I send these to the center, which would probably be the traditional take of what we should do here, or do I give them to one Eric von Manstein in the north? And why would I do that, you may ask. Oh, by the way, is, am I crazy or... Have, does the rail now really show up exactly what's going on on the rail? Um, I feel like before you would see a little strip of green here or there and whatnot. I didn't even really pay much attention to it, to be honest with you. But now we're starting to see these, you know, the real red here, whether it be on secondary lines or main lines. I love it. I love it. I was looking, but you know, I always take about 20 minutes before we start the episode and kind of look around, see what's going on on the map, make sure I don't forget anything so you guys don't yell at me. Um, and I was like, wow, I, I, this turn all of a sudden, the uh, rail has gone hot. <laughs> look at all the different colors out here. Uh, it is starting to turn red in places where we have huge partisan activity too. Uh, and so we like, we've, we fixed this line, right? But now you're seeing some red here around all the partisans. And um, cool. I mean, that's great. That's really interesting. And I hope that this is how the game's always going to be. 
Um, but I really only started noticing these red and the green, and maybe I, I pushed them. I don't know. I should watch a tutorial. Uh, okay, I'll stop saying that joke. Um, but I, I'm kind of curious why it all seemed to show up this turn where you can really see where we have rail damage, uh, potential partisans, etc. Oh, back to the Panzers. Why would I push them north? Why would I give them to von Monstein? I mean, we're there. We're there, right? Uh, not really. Not really. Um, I would give those two Panzer divisions and motorized corps to von Monstein because I want to push this way. And I want to do it for two reasons. All right. One is I want to cut this unit off from getting back across the river here. I would much rather deal with it out here than I would in here. All right. And we may already be a little too late for that. He's already starting to fall back. Uh, but I'm hoping not. The other reason is we need to get up here and interdict supply through these three ports over here um, and into Leningrad. Okay, so, you know, I mean, we're running all of this air interdiction out here. That's great. You know, run the air interdiction. We're going to keep doing that. Uh, but we also need to cut off the ports, I believe, if we can. And so I'd like to get another motorized unit, a group moving that our core i guess moving this way and i think von monstein is just the man to do it uh okay so i do think i'll send him north although i'd love to put up a poll and see what uh, my core generals out there uh including erzbeck what's up erzbeck uh any ideas why the railway railway bombardment didn't work uh well yeah i mean Ultimately, how much can those succeed? We may have done damage, but I don't think that we can actually see the damage, right? You're not going to just, like, you know, destroy it. Can we go see the damage in Volkov? I mean, it's not showing any damage, but we've got fog of war. Would we even know if we did the damage out here? Um, it's actually a good question. If fog of war would extend, I mean, it should, right? We don't have any recon going over this. So how in the hell would we know if their rail yard was damaged? Uh, we may have one of the guys that bombed it say, yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit it. Uh, <laughs> you know, but if you don't have any photos after that, uh, how would you know? My, su I, I suspect it did not work. Um, and it's actually a good question as we go on and play the game more and more and more and learn more uh, as more kind of an advanced concept. What what does it take to bomb these rail yards to do anything? I mean, I suspect you just have to do it with a lot more frequency. And also, I wonder if interdiction would have been a better bombing mission uh, all around here so it you know it can't push through just like we have partisan interdiction down here uh this is a good example of it i believe right here because i know that we fixed this rail right didn't we now nah, we're going to lucky lucky this way maybe we didn't maybe we didn't um I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at exactly what rail we had fixed, but these partisans should be having some kind of interdiction effect on the rail. Uh, and once that gets to a certain extent, it would turn orange or red or yellow uh, based on that partisan activity. And so maybe interdiction would have been a better, better bombing model there. Um, Yeah, uh, M60's on it. I think that's right. You'd have to do strategic recon, right? So it's possible we did damage the railway. It's just we, we don't really, we wouldn't have a way of knowing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, shoot. YouTube works. Yeah, oh, well, Twitch is a whole different beast. I don't know. It doesn't like these kind of games, which seems ridiculous when you can play like Call of Duty uh, on 60 frames per second, but it drops uh, a game like this. I just do not understand it. Um, you know, I've I've looked at it. I've had 10 people look at the Twitch settings. Supposedly, I've got all the Twitch settings perfect, uh, but I don't know. Sometimes it, it drops. Uh, <laughs> the R-rated version. Uh, well, hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, it's like Rambo in here. You know, there's uh, it gives you that warning at the start. There may be blood and violence in this game. Uh, right. Okay. Well, 
Uh, I guess we've talked enough about this, you know, the this kind of junk. Let's uh, get you know, Oh, I did. Gosh, darn it. I did want to go and look and make sure there's nothing else I wanted to move. I see a few movement points out here, but, you know, I don't think we're really going to attack with two understrength motorized at this moment. Uh, I did have, you know, uh, 16th Army really didn't do a whole lot this time, uh, but I only have that one deliberate attack that we could potentially do. I have a regiment that has deliberate. I moved these guys back to kind of fence off Novgorod, or at least try to. Uh, we got the two new units off the uh, train. That's good. Oh, that that's right. Let's, uh, let's talk about those Panzer. Well, I say talk about them. Let's go move them. Let's go move them. Um... So we're going to go back to 135, 173. Let's get these suckers on a train, if we can. Working on the train game. Um, yeah, I should probably click on these guys. All right. Uh, I guess we can bring... Oh, they bring their own headquarters with them? Oh, that's what that is. 40th Motorized. I kept thinking it was a motorized division. I should have looked a little closer. Who's in charge here? Stummy. <laughs> What's up, Stummy? Uh, you know they made fun of this guy because his last name's Stummy. Um, or is it Stoom? But he's only got a four morale. Well, he's not going to be leading these guys. They're going straight to uh, Von Monstein. Uh, but we will rail him up there anyway. Uh, I wonder if I should... Man, look at this. Look when you get a new Panzer division that hasn't been worn down by the rigors of war that comes hot off the uh, German assembly line. Uh, wow. That look, God, that looks beautiful. 25-32. Okay. Um, fine. We'll pick all three of these guys. I, I, maybe I should send them on separate rail lines. I don't know. Look at this. They can get all the way up into our business here. Uh, now, they will. it'll take next turn to get them off the train, and then another turn. Ugh. That kind of defeats the purpose of why I'm bringing them up here in some respects. But we, we have a real motorized deficit in the north. We can always rail them out of here if we need to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not... I'm still not sold. Let's look on the center, in the center. Wow, we could go, you know, put them right up here in the middle of the action immediately. Ay, 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 the decisions we have to make. All right, I'm going to take them north. That was my original idea. Uh, where are the rest of you? Come on, guys. I thought I picked all three. I've lost them. Where did they go? I lost a Panzer division. Or did I? Oh, is he? Maybe the rail will only allow... Hold on. Let's go back to this. I almost had a drink of coffee, and then I almost spit it out. What's going on? Uh, they could only come... Oh, I see. So, yeah, for the strategic move, since we moved them through the same rail... Let's, uh, let's undo all of that. Let's send them by separate rail... Or try to. So we'll bring the first guy, and maybe this is the way we do it. We bring one of the divisions up here, and I do put one in the center. Is that getting a little too cute? Uh, potentially. All right, so now he's up there. All right, these guys are back here. Now then, if I'm trying to get him, maybe I just ran out of you know strategic move points altogether. How far up? So he can only get to like here or here. Why is it showing I can get there, but it's not allowing me to get there? Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just a strategic move point problem, evidently. Um, I'll put him in here uh, because ultimately if we change our mind, we can just whoop, whip him around that way. And now we'll go back to his headquarters. He's directly attached to OKH. All right. Uh, this guy is the headquarters. Uh, he's just not a good general. I mean, we may replace him, right? So that's fine. I'll just bring him up here. Maybe I'll put him in at, I don't know, Polotsk. We'll help the depot at Polotsk for now. All right. 
That looks good. On a, he's on a train. Can't take him off the train. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see if that was the right decision. I, I could have put him in the center, but I expect to make quite a bit of uh, headway in the center this time. Um... Yes, it does cost uh, fewer strategic move points when you unload at a level 2 rail yard. Yes, that's true, but it wouldn't have mattered. We don't have enough to get them off the train anyway. So, uh, I mean, ultimately, we can kind of drop them as far forward as possible. Even if we go into a level 2, I mean, the, the only level 2 where we would still have a 100 strategic move points left would have been back at, like, uh, probably Riga, maybe? Um, and so, not even, probably like Konigsberg. So, yes, that is a good point, though, uh, for, you know, anybody wondering. Strategic move points, you let off uh, at a, you know, you go level two rail yard, it costs less. But it's, I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, because we would have to unload so far back. Anyway. Um, but good point, good point. All right, well, there's Ninth Army sitting here. That's what we're uh, into now. Um, and what exactly we want to do? Well, we want to keep pushing northeast. Uh, there is Moscow. All right. I'm actually tempted to start with the Panzer Infantry Divisions this time. Try to create this breakthrough if we can do it. And if we do do it, then that may dictate something we're going to do different with Ninth Army. Maybe. I don't know. I was looking at this before and I thought, well, these guys, it's probably not going to change. But if we get a big breakthrough here, we may slide Ninth Army around as much as we can because these guys, with a breakthrough that threatens their retreat path to Moscow, I have a feeling are going to take off flying. And so we'll see. All right, let's get up here. Well, we've got to get off rail move. Um, let's get up here then. And try to make sure we have a deliberate attack left when we do. Uh, so he would have one there. He does not have one there. He would have to probably go there. Um, six, six, six. Right. Okay, I'm going to move him right there. Now he is in command. All right. Uh, where is their, okay, their headquarters is sitting right there, the infantry of 2nd Panzer. Now, I really, really want to make sure that I blow this guy out of here. So we got to make sure we've got, so it's an infantry 2. Let's hit right there and hopefully move him. Hey, there we go. Routed out. Wow, 5,000 men, you know, almost that entire division went flying. Now then, we've got... 162nd ID, and who do we have here? 5th ID sitting here. We've got this one little unit. Now, one is probably enough to take it out, I would hope. But it's so important that we have a two, you know, we have two uh, hexes across here. I think I'm going to do a double. Give him the double, boys. Give him the double. Uh, now, do I do that? Now, I think these two guys can come up here and try to attack this stack, uh, which would give us three across. If this works, we shall see. Uh, I think this is overkill. I certainly do. Uh, but, I, you know, it's so important we move that. Okay, so he routed out as well. They're all trying to stack up over here and hide. You can't hide from this army, boys. Um, okay, that worked well. Now, let's bring this Panzer Infantry up here. He's kind of a blocking force. Uh, that looks good. Can he scoot there? Ah, sh oh, shoot. We need to put up our delay points, uh, which are going to be incredibly important here. Um, right. So, can... Oh, he can move. Ooh, I want him there, though. Damn it. Uh, well, it is what it is. That's fine. Uh, you go there. Okay. We're going to start creating our tunnel. Um, he could go, well, I don't want him to go there. Let's have him go there and have his buddy come over here. All right, they're both in command, three of five. We've got dueling cores here, the fifth and the, and the 20th, but that's all right. We'll double and hopefully blow this the hell out of here as well. 
Yep, well, they're backing up. I'll tell you that much. Uh, routed route. Oh, wow, we got the delayed route. You know why I always like that. And look at this start to open up. Uh, hello, knock, knock. Um, now then, can I get him up here? It appears I could, but would I rather have him here? And we still got these Panzer divisions back here as well. Uh, can he go in there? No shit. Can he go in there? No. Damn it. I want somebody right there. Now, that is in a swamp. Uh, we could... Mm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's think this uh, through. I'm going to go look at the comments. That's what I do when I can't make a decision. Uh... Salty Dodger, if you take Leningrad, do you get access to the Finnish units? Well, I haven't done it yet in this game, but my understanding is, yes, you get, like, three Finnish units on the map. Um, Nordhammer. Wait a minute. There was a Twitch and a YouTube stream. What? They were... Did we cross streams? <laughs> is that what's going... I don't know. Uh, Leningrad, going down, turn 14. I agree, Terrence. Uh, yeah, the road to Rezhev. God, that sounds like a, I don't know, like a hard metal uh, name for an album. The road to Rezhev. Uh, I've had a few romantic comedy names on here, like Beyond Kiev, uh, but the road to Rezhev sounds like something Danzig would have put out in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> taking me back. Um, all right. Well, I've got all these guys. I, I you know, I want to get them up here as far as I can because they need to kind of go with the Panzers. But do I think maybe I cover over here for this guy, uh, which allows him as part of Ninth Army then to kind of reverse out this way? Oh, look at that! Look at this just open. Oh, he can get in there. Hells, bells, and shotgun shells. There he goes. He's in. All right, now we've got him blocked off pretty well. Um, this was the only unit I was worried about. We could attack him, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, we've still got these two guys back here. Um, how about we move this unit of Ninth Army up? That'll make you guys happy because then he can just... What all do we have in here? Oh, gosh, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's just hit him with a hasty and see if he surrenders. Oh, gosh, did he not? I'm going to have to do two here. Well, I'm going to leave him with eight movement points. And this guy will just do a deliberate. There he goes. He surrendered. Hey, did you guys know when you surround units that they surrender often when you attack them? Nobody ever told me that. All right. All right. I'll knock it off. Uh, now, I think I want one of these to go up in here somewhere. So I think maybe it's time... Does he not have an attack left? Shit. Well, this dude's surrounded. Maybe he'll surrender to just to a regiment. Oh, man, you surrendered to a regiment. <laughs> you got egg on your face in the POW camp. Uh, that's not a funny joke. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's move you here. All right. And just to make sure he goes away, let's hit him. All right, so he routed out. Hell, I think I could get up here and hit this with something, but I'm, I don't know. Um, look at that. I almost can, but I don't know that a, a, a hasty is really the way I want to go. I'm going to get this guy over the river. Oh, wow, they don't have much out here at all. Well, that's a 26. Okay, all right, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We're accomplishing what we need to accomplish. Uh, let's get over here on this road system. Let's bring this guy around. We'll just put him in this town. Uh, I have a feeling once we get this breakthrough here with the Panzers, these guys are, I mean, they're going to be flying backwards. So it really kind of, we don't have to be quite as defensive with Ninth right now. I could move him... Let's see. We've got one, two, three, di four divisions left that can slide. So let's try to get out every other hex. So there's one. All right. Two, 
two. This guy doesn't threaten me at all. Uh, let's get him behind the river. That's fine. If they want to try to push through here, they're, you know, where's he going, really? We'll be able to react to that. Uh, I'll push you in there and maybe do a deliberate attack against these guys. Who am I facing? Wow, okay. Uh, that helps. That was uh, 3,200 men that went flying. Um, right, okay. I think I just may leave him right there. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, a big batch of forces here, but they've got a lot of routed back here. Uh, that's an 18, though. So we've got an 18, we got an 11 there, and a 27 there. That kind of seems to be the strength they've got. Um, you know, we're right there by Rezhev. But the, now the, the mobile is going to be coming, mobilized going to be coming through there. So mobilized? No. The mobile units. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, I got to You know what? Thank you for saying that, Nordhammer. I always set up those on YouTube, uh, you know, as like coming attractions. I need to delete those when I actually start the stream, though, uh, because uh, the actual stream is not there. Uh, so that's a very, very nice point. Um let me just, I'm going to delete that forever. <laughs> wipe it, wipe it from the webs. Uh, delete forever. Okay, so nobody should see that. When they come, they should see part 55. Thank you for telling me that. Got it. Okay, uh, so maybe I talked trash about Twitch uh, before I should have. Uh, although they deserve it a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Um, okay, we still have these Panzer units that can kind of move out here, but I really do think I'm going to use them to fill some gaps here. So let's start moving our motorized units. Uh, I always like to start off with Das Reich. Uh, okay, just come flying up the road here and see what happens. Where are we going to have the most amount of... Wow, okay, we could get all the way over there. Now, my idea is I kind of want Second to get up here and threaten and then turn back this way and try to envelop as many troops or keep as many troops from getting back to Moscow as we can. So essentially, you know, they've all got their backs to Moscow, you know, no steps back. I'm going to try to get up and around them. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do a complete encirclement down to frickin' Gomel or something, but... Uh, we are going to try to block them from getting back into the city, kind of like I'm contemplating up in Leningrad. Third, I want to bring north, uh, kind of almost straight north. We'll try to. We're, we're not going to take Rezhev this turn, I don't believe. Although it looks like there's only two routed units there, I would imagine they have more a garrison. But we're going to head straight for Kalanin. Uh, here with third. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, so Das Reich, with that being the plan, we're going to come up and around here. Wow. Are we going to run into anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We're just going to come straight down this railroad then. I guess I could have pushed him even further north. Who are you? Get out of here. Yeah, we just swept him out. Uh... <laughs> I love when they route. I don't know. There's something that just makes me laugh about any time a unit routes out like that. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a good start. Uh, let's keep going this way. Now, we do have third. Don't worry. I'm going to get up and over here. But I'm, I'm trying to curl these guys around to the best of my ability. And you say, well, that's not much, Dojo. Come on, man. Uh, wow, look at this. All right. We're on. The flight path to Moscow. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna march through Red Square. Uh, okay, here's another guy. We'll take him maybe a little further north. I do want to keep the. Uh, how does that? How does that suit you? Maybe we'll put the Panzers up here. Um, there. How about right there? All right. Wow. Got them in a bit of a quandary, gentlemen. We could put you there, or I could start to spread these out just slightly. Uh, we'll just put him right in the middle. All right, I'll space bar that. Uh, we'll put you on the rail. All right. You, whoa, whoa! Settle down there, buddy. Look at him go. 
Uh, sure. Is there just like no Soviet units out here? We're just going to, you know, walk up here, drive around. It'll be like an apocalyptic movie. We walk into Moscow and no one's there. Um, I don't even know. I did not expect to advance this far, to be honest with you. So I, I'm not, I don't have like a plan in my head. Now you may say that's usual. <laughs> don't say that. Come on. Um, Yes, I know he could have been trapped eventually, but I want him out of there. Um, let's put the cal... Oh, nice. Okay, so we've now turned the corner. We'll put the cavalry right there. The cavalry has arrived. 10 of 30. Now, he maybe we, he's the guy we take a little further north. I don't, you know, shit, I don't know. We're so far in here that... Uh, okay. Uh, wow. Wow. All right, uh, they really, I'll say this for the AI in this game, it is much, much better. But man, they rush everything up to the front. So if you love to encircle, yeah, I think it's going to slow you down because you've got so many opportunities. But that being said, uh, you can you really got some opportunities to do it uh, because they really rush up. Wherever you move your panzers is what they're keyed to, and they go straight for your panzers, try to, you know, block them off, and I think that's why my strategy is going to work really well here. What are we on turn 12? Looking pretty good. Let's go in and look at the historical dates. It's September 7th in our game. Uh, the Germans historically got here mid-October, so we're about six weeks ahead of schedule here. Um... They took Rezhev on October 14th. They got out in this area by November. Well, interestingly enough, it looks like they went straight for Kalanin, which is probably a good idea to get up here and cut this rail. Uh, that, that, Interestingly enough, that may cut down some of the freight that goes north, although they've got other lines, right? I mean, they've got other lines that come up here, and Lend-Lease comes in from a different way and everything. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're about six weeks ahead of schedule to right here anyway. Uh, we're not driving as hard this way. We're still about a month. I mean, whatever we do here, we're about a month ahead of where the Germans were to the east. We do need to push on Tula. I got to pick up some point. I, you know, we can go sit around Moscow. If we don't get to 525 points, it doesn't matter. Not that I'm that worried about that. I think we'll just get there just by what we do in the south, but you know, just in case we don't take Leningrad, we got to, you know, take Rez Rezhev or Tula or something like that to make sure we're okay on points. But I think that all looks good. I mean, they're starting to curl around here. Now, we didn't, you know, we didn't get to this. Well, we do keep them from railing out from there, right? Because next to it, you can't get troops through there. They can get freight through there. Um, so they can't rail out to there but they i would imagine they're going to start you know filtering back here i'm going to try to get to these hexes and cut them off like right here next turn we'll see you know i don't know how many forces they can bring out of the city we'll all find out together um now then uh we've still got a whole panzer group to move and instead of beating our head against a wall over here, let's get up here and find out what's going on near Rezhev. The road to Rezhev. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. It takes me way back. Uh, okay. Wow, he'd still have nine? All right. I'll bring you there, bud. All right. They do have a third unit in there. We have no idea what it is. It's way too strong for a two motorized, I'll tell you that. Uh, whatever it may be. All right, we'll use these guys to kind of fence off. Can I move anybody over to the left? Eh, shit. Well, I wish I would have maybe taken, you know, gone right here. Well, I'm complaining about nothing, really. Um, all right, I'll put him up there. I was tempted to put him right there. But uh, we'll just kind of have him skirt along the river here. Uh, that's eventually going to be taken by Ninth Army. We're in no hurry to take it. We need to get up here and cut whatever we can, if we can, if we can. How far can you go? Yeah, all right. You can get up here a little ways. 
I mean, hell, I'm tempted to bring these guys around here too. This looks like it could be really something, but I, I, I want to take them north, a little north anyway. They can always approach the city this way and try to, you know, just do that little tap dance right there. Uh, oh, okay, this guy is the guy I'll put right there. Perfect. All right. Uh, Panzer Divisions. We've got more Panzer Divisions. Okay, can he... Eh. He can only... Ah, he can get right there. I shouldn't... Again, I shouldn't complain. This is just wide open. So there's that. Oh, shit. We had another motorized unit. I probably should have moved him first. Should I bring him this way, maybe? Or should we just go straight for Kalanin? I don't think they have anything up here. I wanted to go try to cut any kind of retreat rail that they have. Ooh. Which makes me think... Where does this rail come through? It's right there. These guys could rail out. I don't think we could stop. You know, they can rail out here on major rail. I, hell, I hope they do. Uh, Vishni Velocek. That's potentially my favorite name in the game. Vishni Velocek. Uh, <laughs> Stalin is... <laughs> that's right, Erzbeck. Stalin is burning all sensitive documents for the move to the Urals. Uh, or the urinals. He can hear our footsteps. Um, Uncle Joe. All right, we could get, you know, like to there. We've still got more units, so, ah, shit, let's do it. That keeps him close enough. I, I hate to have any gaps up here, because I'm sure they're going to try to shoot him, or I would. Um... Where can you go? I don't know. These guys just, you know, it's like we can just run free. Run free! Um, up he goes. All right. And hell, I don't know. I'm in a little, you know, I don't want you guys to have to sit here and wait while I think for like 30 minutes on each move. So I'm, you know, is this ideal and perfect with this kind of breakthrough? I, I, think, I think it's good. Oh, if we get there, we mess with their rail that rail if they're trying to rail units out this way now i don't know why they wouldn't take them up the main rail if they can get them there i guess is the question uh but where do i go around this way jimmy christmas decisions decisions he could go there do i want him why would i want him to go there though that's the question he can go there he could go there these guys nobody else really out here has any movement points uh, but we still have a Panzer Division, which is always fun when you just have a Panzer Division laying around. Uh, and this is, I guess, part of the reason I'm glad I, I you know, I'm glad I'm taking those uh, other Panzers north. I, I don't know. I think we're doing what we can with the Panzers out here. It's just a matter, matter of do I go here or do I try to extend all the way here? I think I will keep them a little closer together. Um, I could have gotten bold and... and cut this rail and maybe i should have but they can't get on the rail here they it doesn't matter if they get on here so who am i really protecting against well they can't rail out this way it goes this way the rail comes out of here so i guess these guys could rail out and that's the chance i'm taking and anything here could rail out but they could just retreat anyway so uh that's fine he's a little closer to moscow that way wow look at that all right I was not expecting to get a full breakthrough like that, that close to Moscow, but we are now up in your grill, Uncle Joe. Um, okay, now what? Well, we got to move all the headquarters. I know that, but we'll kind of save that to last. Uh, let's, oh, excellent. Let's get these Panzer divisions up here as, you know, some defensive kind of blocking forces. Now, these are strong enough. Thing. Well, does it matter? Uh, maybe. Um, do I go all the way there? I don't think so. This will save us at one unit because fourth is stretched a little thin. So we'll just kind of... There we go. Um, their headquarters can come sit right behind them. That's fine. Well, I said I'll wait, but we may as well move these guys up. The headquarters up here. Uh, let's go... I don't know. There... Is that too far away? Maybe. 
Let's stack him with that other Panzer Division. What about you? Oh, okay, that's the infantry. Perfect. Um, 41st motorized. All right, they're just all right around the corner. I guess I'll put them with uh, Totenkopf. There we go. Uh, this motorized, I'll put him there. Sure. Now, some of these are going to start getting out of command range, although he's only 9 of 15. I guess we did bring him up here. Let's put him in Viasma. Uh, when I say him, uh, third Panzer group, and then we've got Ninth Army here as well. Where's uh, there's Guderian? Nope, that's not Guderian. Actually, this is Fourth Army. That's von Klug. That should be fine. Now, where is Guderian though? Oh, he's right here. What are you doing, Hans? Let's go pick it up, pick it up. Uh, this is what he wanted to do historically. And uh, he was probably right about that. So we've all got we've got all three of them there. All of our freight's going to be coming out of Smolensk. We've got this now. Uh, this oh shit! Actually, hold on. We need to move one of these uh, so the rail can get in there, and we'll leave the rail there so that it attracts freight. Uh, R R R. Okay, that's annoying when I do that. R. Um, perfect. Well, hopefully we get a just an absolute shit ton of freight into Viasma uh, during the logistics phase. We've got that. Swear to God, I thought there was a depot there. Uh, right. Well, okay, we'll create one. Uh, there's one in Viasma now. Now it only has it. Ha I say only. It only has a level two rail yard, but that's kind of what you need. We're also going to put that on priority repairs. Uh, there we go. How's the the rail yard at Smolensk is being repaired, but not quite as quickly as I would like. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, thanks for dropping by, M60. M60 is good at handling those uh, the questions while I'm sitting here staring at the map. Uh, yeah, so thank you. I mean that seriously. Thanks for uh, answering some of those because I know I get a little focused uh, when I'm staring at this. You know what? I'm going to do a little exploratory here. I don't know if it's even necessary. We're probably throwing men right down the drain. But I'm, I'm hoping that he'll just walk into town and say, oh, okay, there's too many Soviet troops. Well, actually, I hope he says, no, there's just routed units here. Uh, but I don't think he will. But I'm just curious what they have here, honestly. I want him to scout. Yeah, scouted. Excellent, Rudolf Schmidt. We lost 22 men. Okay. May they rest in peace, and thank you uh, for your contribution to the cause. Um, right. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of capacity at Rezhev. <laughs> got, uh, you know, three full groups or armies sitting here, plus uh, the railroad. Um, Now what? Well, we've I think we've done a good job moving all of these. I don't think there's that much more to do. I would like to move him up, snug them in close, snug you guys in close. Oh, okay, well, there's one we need to move for certain. Uh, we'll get him up here. This is 57th, leading the way. That is Hubei. Hubei's really good. 886. Uh, he's got really good on the morale. Uh, An 8. You know, a lot of times the morale score is a little lower uh, for the Germans, for whatever reason, than their initiative score is. But not Hubei. He's bringing 887, and I love it. Um, okay, he's leading the way to... Kalanin, uh, we should take Rezhev, I don't know, in a couple of turns. I'm in no hurry, really, uh, other than, you know, I do hope they drop back so we can get Ninth Army up and around the city. Uh, it's probably going to be, if we do take Moscow, it's probably not going to be by turn 16 for a sudden victory. Uh, not that that gets you that automatically. It'll probably be like turn 17 or 18, and it'll probably be in the mud. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Now, hopefully we can, my my you know, ultimate dream is to take clan in here, kind of, you know, completely keep any of these units for coming into Moscow and then surround, go cut the rail up here to the north. 
uh, out of that with third panzer. Second panzer pushed down this way uh, and cut both of these rails out and maybe even try to work its way here and we could try to you know somehow meet up here in the middle. That would be ideal. Uh, can we do it? I, hell, I don't know. I haven't played forward, so we'll see. Um, I think these guys are all good. I think that's all good. I think we can now move 4th Army, which is a little more challenging, right? Because I, I'm really weak through here. Uh, against a human player, I would probably not stay this week right outside of Smolensk. I mean, if we lose... If they were to do a massive counterattack towards Smolensk, we would be, and it's something to keep in mind when we play the Soviets uh, on the Soviet side, is th this gets in out here, depending on what the Germans do. I mean, Second Army, I've given them nothing. They're essentially out here just trying to hold whatever they can hold and not lose any hexes. Um, and so this is really weak. So I got to be a little careful. I'm going to have to keep some of these regiments just to stretch them. Uh, because we need to get 4th Army moving northeast uh, as fast as we can. All right, so he's there. We've got these guys lined up, so perfect. Um, five, five, shoot. I was hoping he would have a deliberate left. Now, where are your other dudes? Um, I don't see another. Oh, here. Oh, they're all in a row. Okay, let's make this a division again. Come together right now. Uh, right. Okay, you are a division again. Um, again, I wish I could get around here and do a deliberate attack. That looks weak to me. Can I get anybody up here with a deliberate? It appears not. All right. Well, we're just going to go there. Is he, in? he is in with his headquarters. All right. We'll just hit that and see what's happening. Uh, yeah, we lost 209 men screwing around there. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, okay, he's going to go. That division's going to go there. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there as we start scooting. Now, I expect most of these Soviet forces are going to do whatever they can to drop back. So we should just have a glide path into Moscow. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Um, he can actually go a lot further. And I think maybe I'll do that. Can they all get up there, though? Not really. Um, he can get to where there. Do I do, I do that? Uh, that is going to leave. Okay, let's start at the bottom and figure out where we've actually got to be. Let's put him there. All right, that's part of 258th. I want to keep them kind of close together. That's all 7th. This is 258th. Okay, so I'll drop this guy, actually, I don't know, every other hex. We'll put him there. Uh, you know, okay. Um, seventh, we're going to bring over here, meaning 258th, we're going to put, like, there. Okay. Let's, with this division that's part of that two, you know, part of this whole core. Let's try to attack there and knock this guy back. He's probably the strongest unit they have out here. Uh, 491? Eh, okay, that wasn't great. Um, seventh. Let's move you there. Not sure I'm liking how this is all setting up, but okay. Um, put you there. Who else is in 7th? You're in 7th, all right. Put you there. 7th or 17th? There we go. 7th. That's 7th. 1, 2, 3, and then I've got 23rd ID, which I guess I just, you know, did that with him. I can kind of reverse him out of here a little bit. Let's uh, put him there so he can start his scoot. Now then, we've got 17th. with these guys. Okay, where's the other part of 17th? He's They're right there. Okay, let's take these two guys and let's make that a division again. All right. Now then, they can get all the way up here. Let's just do that. 
um, and we'll use these other divisions we have down here so that we're pushing on Moscow. Now this guy can't get very far, but that's okay. And we'll move, I don't know, the headquarters up here in the clearing. I want him to get up here as close as he can, though, in case they need to do a hasty attack. Uh, so we're double stacked there. That all looks good. Now these guys, shit, they could move quite a bit further. He could get up in here, too. But, I, man, I can't leave it that weak, can I? I ask you. Um, I wish that division could move. Seven points. He could go there. I'm actually going to leave these guys a little behind. Um, just don't want them to break back through this way. So they could move. I mean, this guy can get all the way up here. That's like, you know, what, 70 miles towards Moscow. So I really want him to. But ultimately... You know, where are these guys going to go, though? Are they really going to counterattack like that? I don't know. If I put him in there... Could I get away with putting that there or that there? Let's put him there. And let's take that. I'm just so tempted to move that division since I can move him like 70 miles. Uh, I am going to put him up there. All right. Well, I mean, we leave a very thin line back here, to say the least. I think I want this guy. Does that work? No shit. I kind of want him to be in the middle of all this, or maybe even back in this town, if I could get him there. Can he scoot? No. Can he scoot? No. Well, uh, that's life. You take chances sometimes. We're just going to have to chance it. Um, that we don't get any kind of major counterattack back to Smolensk. You know, I would look, we've got a regiment, two regiments. Maybe he should back up behind the river to, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm actually going to scoot second army around this way. Just forget about, you know, we'll take Gomel anyway, but I, I can't have them attack back into Smolensk. That ain't going to work. Uh, I may end up just splitting this guy as well. Um, let's just hit this guy. Okay, off you go. That helps. And then let's break this unit up as well. And we're just going to run with regiments out here. Um, behind the river. I like it. Behind the river. How about right? Does that make sense? Nah, let's keep him behind the river. That's fine. Uh, I guess I could have undone that move. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Now this guy, can he... Let's keep him behind the river. These two guys, let's attack here if we can see what what we get out of that. Eh, kind of a standstill is what we got out of it, but that's okay. Alrighty then. I'm tempted to maybe move this division back up here or split him up as well. Let's get back up here and make sure I don't have any movement points still on the table. This guy's come all the way up. Uh, these guys could damn near do a hasty. Um, let's move you up. Uh, that's too far. Whoops. Let's undo that. He's got to keep... Oh, I guess it's not that far out. Um, I'd rather him be up here closer to the ones in the front. Okay, everybody's still on there. That's your commander. Where's your commander, sir? Um, up we go there. That looks good. This guy. Eh, I don't like that. Man, oh man, that looks weak. Just, you know, they've got an armored division back here. Infantry, seven and four. <sighs> Not ideal. He, this guy's going to be so far out of command. <laughs> but I think I kind of got to maybe take one of these and move it up here. I guess it would be smarter to take this one, right? Let's go put him there. Um, fine. And let's...
put him there. And then let's scoot second around. So we'll do that. Oh, actually, well, that's all right. And we'll do that. All right, well, you know, it's getting real thin back here. Uh, there. And let's say there. And we'll scoot you around here. He's on the road. Okay, you can split. Split these guys up into regiments try to block what we can block these guys are as split as you can split them he's gonna go there you're gonna go there we can't have him get into our rail here i'll tell you that much um now i'm tempted with these two divisions to hit this unit it's one of their stronger ones out here these three guys, I think I'm just going to keep behind the river. They can always, well, he could jump over here, couldn't he? And we could scoot down a little bit. But I don't want anything heading back towards Minsk. Why don't we, let's hit him deliberate and see what happens. I don't think that turned out great. All right, so he's used up his movement points now. Uh, for, well, could he do, he could do another. He could do one there, too. Let's hit with both these divisions. Hey, off you go. That helps. All right. That helps things quite a bit, actually. Um, now then. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. Th the thin blue line, boys. The thin blue line. Um, let's break you up now that he's gone. And start just, I don't know, peppering the whole map with units. Uh, we'll move him back there. We'll move you. Since we decided to forego Kursk, like some of this, you know, it's just like, well, um, you know, what is Second Army really up to? What's their objective? What are they trying to accomplish? I, You tell me. Um, two and two. If they want to try to come across the river to the middle, they probably will. I would like to shunt them this way if I can. So we'll I'll do it this way. Um... Could he get up here too? <laughs> I'm like, can you get up here? Can you get up here? I guess I can bring him back down here. I know I've shifted these guys around a lot. I'm just trying to get this as good as I can. That's swamp. So I think I'm okay there. I do think they'll be retreating, but I've tried to do this as best I can. We'll see if I succeeded. I'll move him down one, see what they got there, and move him over one. Okay. Okay, I mean, we're almost to Gomel, but the only thing that they would be going after is Kursk, and we've already said, you know, I don't give a damn if we get to Kursk by turn 16 anyway. We'll eventually get there, uh, but that's going to take some things from the north coming down here. All right, gents, I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, we... Fifth Panzer was taken, was used to take Vilecki Luki. Interesting. Okay, thank you, Nordhammer. Uh, Soviet triple stack west of Sukhanichi. Where is that? Of where do you speak, my friend? Bordino. Uh, Napoleon turns over in his grave. Um, triple stack here? Yeah, that. I, if this is what you're talking about, it does look dangerous. I wanted to get this division up there, but I, I didn't see a way of doing it. Um, I could actually... I've got a division there. I, li I like the way you think, my friend. I like the way you think. I may move this division back here uh, and just kind of try to guard whatever we can. That's a good thought. I like it. Um... He can't move in there. He can't move in there, but he can move there. Why don't we do that? And I'll, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I guess I was on the headquarters. Okay, there we go. 17th ID. Oh, he can get in there. Look at you, my friend. Uh, thank you. That, that deserves a promotion right there. That was good stuff. Uh, it does look dangerous there. 
Uh, it looks like that's, I mean, look, they've got five full divisions, seven, nine full divisions against two regiments, a division, and now we've backed off a division. So I'm with you. I'm with you there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know this. If, if you know, they really should probably be counterattacking along here. I keep going back and forth. Should I move him into town or should I leave him right there? I wish I could get him into town, and that way I'd push him this way. Uh, let's move you up. There we go. Okay, so you've moved. I think that all looks good. Nice and snug in there. We got the ninth up here within, what, 100 miles now. Uh, they're leading elements. This is around the back. This should just crumble up here as far as, like, trying to get back, you would think. Um, do they have a major rail? I mean, they've got this minor rail that goes around into a major rail. I need to get to that major rail by next turn. I'd also like to cut this one, but this one's probably less important for troop purposes. I don't know. I guess they could rail in reinforcements this way from elsewhere. Uh, but really, for the retreat purposes, we need to get there. For all of these units could you know rail out of here and rail up there uh, both there and there all right looking go good guys uh there will be more war in the west yes salty dodger actually I, I i always think of you when i'm thinking of a war in the west tutorial uh because i know you're you're waiting for those and it's been about five or six days that's too long uh, I'm going to start the air war this time. So I've been preparing for it. I was reading about it this morning. Also, a few other things before I go. One is, is on Tuesday, we are going to be simulcasting the big Matrix Palooza that they're having on Tuesday. It'll be on the R channel as well. They asked me to do that. My understanding is I'll be able to give you guys some Matrix classic games i you know i what those games are i don't know yet uh but i'll be able to just you know toss them in like oprah you get a game you get a matrix game uh we'll just get them out there uh so there's that they're also going to um going to announce they have 15 new games under development now they're going to announce like five of those evidently and then they're going to go into distant worlds 2 which has got my rapt attention uh which i think distant worlds 2 is going to come out in july that's that's just what i hear on the webs it's not matrix has not told me that i don't have any inside information they also sent me uh more preview for that battle sector 40,000 like the first six battles of the campaign uh for the Warhammer 40k battle sector I liked that I thought it was fun nice turn based kind of XCOM like you know uh I cannot play that on the channel until Tuesday so May 11th if you guys would like to see more of that game let me know let me know and I'll play it uh, I know how to play it now. I read the rule book. I played a couple of uh, scenarios. I think it's a lot of fun. I'd like to play it, but just let me know in the comments if you want to see more of that game. Uh, again, Distant Worlds 2, we'll see. I got something else that was a preview copy that Slytherin sent me. Got to think about what that was, though. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, I, I think later tonight I will be posting the first of the uh, play-by-email Let's Play with the wily, the dastardly Tranborg. This guy, man, the cojones on this guy. Uh, just sneak preview. I'm, I've now uh, recorded up to episode seven. Uh, he's attacking Bombay. <laughs> and he's taken Melbourne. He's taken Melbourne, Australia. No joke, he's landed there. I've got my hands full. My, you know, this is the difference between playing a human and the AI. I think we'll be okay. He may have gotten a little surprised when he opened up this time uh, because we did sink a Japanese carrier. Uh, spoiler alert: we did sink a Japanese carrier this turn. But that war plan Pacific is a hell of a lot of fun when you play with another human. When we come back next time, I'm going to make sure I didn't forget anything here in the center. We're going to move to Army Group South. That will be at 2.30 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. 
Uh, and then I'm going to stream all week at 2.30 p.m. Pacific during the week. Uh, my job keeps telling me I've got to be around till uh, 4.30 Chicago time. So that's 2.30 West Coast time. Uh, that's when I get the stream going immediately. I don't let it, I don't let it sit for a second. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, one more thing. Thank you guys so much. We went over 3,000 subs today, and uh, we're almost at 3,010. It'll be 3.01 uh, as we build towards 4 and 5, and who knows? Uh, strategy gaming is going to take over the world, uh, but 3,000 subs in under six months, but way beyond my expectations. I'm glad you guys enjoy the content. Uh, I enjoy the hell out of making these. It's a lot of fun to talk to you guys. You guys come up with great ideas, like just like that, you know, moving that infantry division back and shuffling things around. Uh, I've got the best subs in the game. Thank you so much. Strategy Gaming Dojo, out.